Hey everyone, good afternoon. We have the next walking stick in progress. The uh, bark's been taken off, it's been sanded. It's fairly smooth, nice coloration. A uh, bit smaller, a little bit, uh, let me get a good grip. Uh, maybe an inch, inch and an eighth diameter. So it's going to be a more narrow walking stick. Nice lightweight, uh, very nice grain on it been aged well a little bit of watermarks here and there but I think that one's going to come out nice bottom here has been tapered down it's going to fit a uh, three-quarter inch uh, rubber foot it's already been whittled down sanded nicely so that fits nice The only issue we have here is just above where the handle is, there's a bit of a crack that formed as it was drying. You see there, let's see if we can focus, there you go. But we're going to fill that one in with some epoxy. We're not going to be using all this length. It's a bit longer than it needs to be. So probably going to take off maybe four or five inches of that. But instead of doing a cord wrap on this one, what we're going to do is a, a stippled effect with the Dremel. So from the top down, I'm going to do a nice stippled effect. I'm going to fill this in with a brightly colored epoxy. Maybe even make a uh, an epoxy top. Maybe make make it look like a little bit of a I don't know a, a gem or something something on top. We'll see how that turns out. Stay tuned. So the first step for making the top. As we said, we're going to be cutting off four or five inches, well, maybe even six or so from the top of this one. What I wanted to do is instead of just making a straight cut, we're going to do an irregular top to it. We're going to sort of make this flowing pattern. You see there from the pencil mark, a little bit of a flow. And then what we'll do is we'll come back and fill that in with epoxy up top when we do the, the crack. Um, I think it'll make a more dramatic effect up top. So let's cut that and uh, grind it out with the Dremel, see what that looks like. So we've got, a, got that form that we drew out on top with that cut that's there. What we're going to do is make a few notches, uh, little cuts like, like you see just across a few other faces. Uh, give somewhere for the epoxy to, to bite into. So that's what we're going to do now. We're just going to clamp it up and just simply with a saw make a few a few inserts okay so we're all set to uh, do the epoxy here what we're going to do is uh you see there it's a metallic blue so Get going on that. It's not going to take too much, this one. Just going to close that up. Add a little bit of pigment. What I have here is a very thin piece of, I uh, can't remember exactly what it is, I think it's a bamboo, it comes from somewhere, uh, I keep it especially for this, for filling in cracks, because it's super thin. And what it allow 
allows you to do is get into the crack and pull the epoxy into it. Allows you to reach down because sometimes, uh, especially these five minute epoxies, get to be a little bit thicker than, let's say, a slower drying epoxy, which flows like water. So just sort of drag it into the crack. Now, obviously, in the more narrow sections, it doesn't fit, so you just sort of put it on top. Try and work its way into it. Gets to be messy, obviously. Well, that's going to be a nice contrast. It's a nice color, that. Nice. So for this last part, where we're going to make a, a larger epoxy top, what I did is just wrapped a piece of uh, cardboard with a little waxy surface all the way around, taped it up, and what we'll do is we'll mix up the next batch and pour it in. And it's going to take obviously a little bit more than uh, normal for the cracks, which you see there on the side is all dried up. Let's see how this one turns out. So the epoxy came out pretty good actually. Uh, we took off a little bit of the cardboard. Most of it came off pretty well. A little bit of some stuff stuck, but uh, that'll sand off anyways. Got to round off the top just a bit. But it came out pretty good. I think with a little bit of sanding, it's going to work out pretty well. So we finished up the uh, stippling at the top. I think it came out pretty good. Left a little space here, just uh, adds a little visual contrast. Left it smooth here where the handle's going to go. Um, it just works out a little bit better. Uh, but I think it looks pretty good. What we're going to do now is put the stain on. Just a uh, Waco tea coil good outdoor finish and uh, see how this wood's gonna pop So we finalized the blue epoxy walking stick. As you saw before, uh, finished up the top, 
epoxy, a little stippling across the length. And uh, just below the handle here, I decided to do a little more stippling. A little more shadow line, added a nice little contour. Because what we did here is this one, as I posted some preview shots on my Instagram account, uh, a friend of mine showed some interest in this walking stick. And uh, so I decided to, uh, to make this one kind of personal. As you see here, I carved in the name uh, Blue Water out of, a, out of epoxy and colored it the same blue that we had before. So if you go to the link either just above or down below, I put the link to the website. Uh, Blue Water Oracle is a friend of mine I've known now since 1992. So I'll put the link to her Instagram account, her, I think, Facebook account, and website. So I encourage you to go check that out. And we finalized the last walking stick. I think this one came out really nice. A little different. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed it.